What's up everybody, this is Justin with Just In Time 3D Prints bringing you today an all metal hot end upgrade. Um, this upgrade is for the Wanhao i3, although I am doing it on the Monoprice i3, which is pretty much the exact same unit, just rebranded. Um, in this video, you'll get to see the quick and easy replacement to do all metal, which will allow you to go to much higher temperatures and print all kinds of filaments since this machine does have a heated thing bed. I did want to point out was the quality of this video could have been better it's hard to record a replacement because your hands are in front of the camera the entire time uh, the camera kept focusing auto focusing so could have been cleaned up a little bit but I hope this does help if you have any questions I will get back to you as soon as possible on them it's a very very simple simple change I've never done it before uh, this video was actually recorded after I did it. You can probably hear the printer running in the background because I'm testing it now. So far, so good. But as I said, this was done. This video right here is after the replacement was already done. It took me maybe 15 minutes total. I have not done it before. It is very, very simple. And like I said, if you have any questions, please ask. And now, on to the video. And this is the Wanhao i3 all metal hot end switch from Micro Swiss. Um, I got the camera angled the best way I think I can. My hands are obviously going to need to be over there so I can change some stuff around. Uh, let's see how this works. Um, first, we're going to start off by just removing the fan. There's these two Allen screws right here. I'm sure that will not be the last time I drop that. Just feed this around and go ahead and unplug it. Now, you need to go ahead and remove this as well, just to make things a little bit easier. Don't necessarily have to take this off, but it's just gonna make everything a lot easier. Now, the next step is to heat the nozzle up to 250 degrees. And while we're doing that, we will pause the video so you don't have to sit here and listen to silence for a few minutes. We'll be right back. Well, we are now up to 250 degrees, so you will need to now remove the nozzle. Um, what you'll need for this is a pair of pliers or channel locks and a wrench or socket. First you'll just hold on to the heater block and then start loosening this. Just remember while you're loosening this that this is 250 degrees. So whatever you do, please be careful with this part. Once it's off, you can just let it hit the build plate. The build plate is not on, so it's not going to be hot or hurt anything. And there you go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nice and hot. So now what you'll do is turn off the printer. And go ahead. 
ahead and remove these now. Now you obviously need to let that cool down. So while we wait for that, we will take off this side fan. Got some filament hanging on to me. Like I said, a lot of this video will be my hands, but hopefully you'll get the point of it. That was a spacer from the fan. Now you can just set that over to the side. Now the next step is to remove these Allen screws that are under here beside the heating block. Ooh. Now the difference between this and the Wanhao is the Wanhao will have two Allen screws. This mono price only has one, so now this whole heating block will come out. And now to go ahead and remove this, uh, well, loosen this Allen screw right here inside the cooling block. So you can push that on through. All right. Now you should be able to just twist this out with your hands. halfway there so now you will need to get the block that came with the micro swiss kit you will need the nozzle take out the package and you'll need the thermal barrier tube go ahead and hand screw the nozzle in Tighten it as best you can by hand, and then once it's tight, loosen up just a tad, tad bit. Then, go ahead and tighten in the thermal barrier tube. This one, go ahead and tighten as tight as you can. Now, go ahead and put the cooling block back on. And now you need to leave just a little gap at the top. Um, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. I'm not going to measure it out. Um, so I guess we'll see what happens. I fix my camera's focus because it's focusing on something else. Well, you get the point. I'll have to just there, kind of. There we go. Now, like I said, just leave a little gap. Next up, there we go. No. 
go ahead and slide it back in. Now that little screw that you took out from underneath the other one, that is what's going to need to go back in there now. I feel like the easiest way to get these back on would be to go ahead and lead both screws in and then go ahead and put the heat sink on as well and then go ahead and put both spacers on and then lead it in a lot easier to kind of fight them back the other way. And now just tighten this back up. Now when I'm trying to get these screws back in, it can definitely seem like they're not going in. Just keep on spinning, they'll eventually be there. Um, it does take a few tries, but once you get them in, you'll know. I feel it pick up. All right, now you can put this cool guy back on. And torque that down. And now you can go ahead and put the fan back on. When you're putting it back on, make sure that the cord is right here. Otherwise, you'll have too short of a cord or too long of a cord if you put it back on in a different direction. One thing I will point out now is that you don't necessarily need to take this off in the first place. Um, got a little ahead of myself when I took it off. While you're doing it, if you just take these two off, disconnect the fan, you'll be good to go. Well, now you can just run this back down through here. And connect it back up. if I can get it connected back up now. <laughs> there you have it. And that is the all metal hot end upgrade. Um, I know the video could have been a little bit better. My camera kept focusing and unfocusing, but this is it. I will do a little zoom in after this so you can see um, up and underneath and everything else. Um, if I hope you like this video, if you want more like it, I'm going to do whatever I can. Please like, subscribe, share, and uh, thank you.